here on the weekly sports update. I am the Mighty Oka here every week with our weekly sports update talking about the progress of the hometown team of Western New York, the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are beginning uh, to make their names distinguished around the NFL. As you remember, we talked about this before the season started, that the Buffalo Bills would make the playoffs. Yes, we are now going into the fifth week of the season, and the Buffalo Bills are still on track, still keeping with my prediction to get this done. They are the surprise team of the NFL. Everybody's talking about them. They've become the darlings until, you know, that fateful day comes. And it's going to come sometime during the season. You know it's going to come. There's only been one team that has not uh, lost a game in NFL history, and that was the 72 Dolphins. But let me tell you something. This Buffalo Bills team is a team of high character, of hard workers that come to work every week with the ultimate goal of beating their next opponent. And with that thought in mind, that's why you have to look at their personnel. And this is why I don't think there's any way that this team takes a week off. If they lose a game, it's because that team was the better team on that given day. It's not going to be because you don't get the effort from the Buffalo Bills. Fred Jackson out of Coe College, undrafted. David Nelson out of University of Florida, undrafted. Donald Jones out of Youngstown State, undrafted. Your quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick, out of Harvard, seventh round pick. Your best receiver, Stevie Johnson, out of University of Kentucky, seventh round pick. Your starting left tackle, Demetrius Bell, seventh round pick. This is not a team built on first and second round picks. On the line itself, you've got Andy Levitre as a second round pick, Eric Wood is a first round pick. But Reinhardt and Eric Pierce, these guys are undrafted. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This team is built of hardworking, blue-collar guys that come to work each and every week that are grateful to be where they are. And the only way they know they can stay on top in this league is to work very hard. Chan Gailey knows how to push the right buttons with the talent he has on this team. And I think you're going to see some great strides with this team. One thing I'm looking forward to... It's when Chan Gailey implements Brad Smith into the passing game of this offense, both as a receiver and as an option quarterback. It is coming. Look forward to it. Brad Smith was one of the great quarterbacks at the University of Missouri, and I guarantee you that Chan Gailey will use this man in a quarterback slash slash position the same way he used Cordell Stewart years ago in Pittsburgh. He knows he has the talent in Brad Smith. I think you're going to see an expanded role in Brad Smith as the season unfolds. And this is a great thing for the Western New York fans as the Buffalo Bills begin to make a drive to the playoffs. We are now approaching the first quarter of the season, and the Buffalo Bills have made a statement that they are serious, that they are making a drive to the playoffs, that yesteryear is yesteryear. The last 10 years have just made them better as a team and an organization, and they realize they are moving towards success. This is a great situation here in Western New York. Buddy Nix and Chan Gailey have done an outstanding job with this team. And I think that you have seen them put together a team that is ready to make a push. And they're relatively healthy. They have some nicks. They have a few injuries on this team. But right now they're relatively healthy, and I'm looking to see them make a great push towards the playoffs. We'll talk again next week as the Buffalo Bills continue their success. And I'm telling you, I am psyched. Hey, Michael Vick coming to town against the Buffalo Bills. Hey, he's going to lose in Western New York guarantee it. We'll see you next week right here on our weekly sports update. I am the Mighty Obama.